Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's over here bringing you another Minecraft 4.2 vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Tiger 1 Hoss E. The Tiger 1 was a German heavy tank of World War II operating from 1942 in Africa and Europe, usually in independent heavy tank battalions. It was designated Panzerkampfwagen 6 Hoss H during development but was changed to Panzerkampfwagen uh, 6 off E during production. The Tiger 1 gave the German army its first armored fighting vehicle that mounted the 8.8 cm KWK 36 gun. 1,347 were built between August 1942 and August 1944. After August 1944, production of the Tiger 1 was phased out in favor of the Tiger 2. Uh, while the Tiger has been called an outstanding design for its time, it has also been called over-engineered. Using expensive materials and labor-intensive production methods, the Tiger 1 was prone to certain types of fra track f fractures, and, or sorry, track failures and breakdowns, and was limited in range by its high fuel consumption. It was expensive to maintain, but generally mechanically reliable. It was difficult to transport and vulnerable to immobilization when mud, ice, and snow froze between the overlapping and air-weaved uh, Sketchkopf Park Fork pattern road wheels, often jamming them solid. This was a problem on the Easter front in the muddy Rasputa season and during periods of extreme cold. So yeah, the Panzer or the Panzer 6 uh, or the Tiger 1, definitely a outstanding tank of history. I mean, everybody is familiar with the Tiger 1. If you're not, then, you know, I don't know what, what to tell you. This tank is uh, very iconic for its fear factor and the fact that the tank was very overhyped for what it was, but again, it's still one of my favorite tanks of World War II. Just, it's such a beautiful tank. Um, so this is a redesign. Again, Tiger 1, always a tank that's over, always changing here on the channel. And I think this model here is really well done. Um, a completely redesigned model from the ground up. And just the overall shape and structure of it really does look really nice. And as I mentioned, this is an off, off sea, so this is kind of like a later war type design. Uh, the H1 was kind of the earlier uh, war design. So yeah, really cool looking build. Let's go and kind of take a look here at the uh, tank. So obviously we have a tan camo scheme. Some of you guys can do it in stone if you want to, but we're going to be going ahead and doing it in a tan color. We've obviously the main 88mm gun, the uh, front driver's view port, machine gunner uh, port there. Up on top here we have the various hatches and all that, uh, the mounted uh, smoke grenade dispensers on the turrets here. Spare tracks mounted on the side, and we have the kind of engine deck here with uh, all the vents and stuff like that. Personally, one of my favorite parts of the tank, I think it looks really nice back here. Um, using the booms here really does uh, do a good job for showing all that venting on the back here of the tank. We have obviously the mufflers back here and all the back detailing, all that stuff. So overall, really nice looking tank. Again, it's going to make an awesome addition to pretty much any of your World War II maps where you're going to have a beast uh, German heavy tank. Anyways, that's it for this overview. Let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layers, layer 0 and 1. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our first layer. We're going ahead and starting off with layer numbers 0 and 1. For these layers, to go ahead and get started with you, we're going to place down three, or sorry, two narrow brick top slabs like this, or two narrow brick slabs, sorry, and then two narrow brick top slabs coming off of those. We then want to place down a row of two of smooth sandstone across like this, followed by a sandstone wall up here in the front and a smooth sandstone block behind it. We're going to then do another row to a smooth sandstone across, and we're going to basically repeat this pattern a total of four times. So, just like this, our sandstone wall, block, two blocks, wall, block, two blocks, and wall, and block. And then once we get to this point here, we're going to go to the spaces underneath the sandstone walls, and we're going to place down another brick block here in the ground, like that for the tracks. Also on the side of these blocks, we're going to place down birchwood buttons, item frames, and we're going to place down smooth sandstone blocks in those item frames, just like that. With that complete, we're going to go ahead and then place down a smooth sandstone block here, followed by another brick block here in the ground, and a skeleton school there to the side. We're then going to take our narrow brick stairs and place down two narrow brick upside down stairs across the rear there, like so. With that done, we're going to go ahead and then go to this narrow brick side. We're going to place down a row three of sandstone top slabs across here, and we're going to go, ahead and go to the back here, go to the smooth sandstone block here and replace down a row of three of sandstone top slabs. We're going to go ahead and go to the space in between those top slabs and fill the space in completely with uh, sandstone top slabs like so to create nice bases here for the whole of the tank. And after that we're going to go ahead and basically repeat the same design we did over in the air side for the tracks just over here to this side. I'm going to go ahead and build a little bit faster as we've already kind of covered how to do it in detail. 
So I am going to go a little bit faster, as you can see, and if you need to, you can slow the video down, pause it, or just look at the other side because it is exactly the same on both sides here for the tr the uh, pinks. Our item frames here, we've seen some blocks in those item frames. Nair brick block here, skeleton school, and then two upside down nair brick stairs there across the back. And once we have that done, we have our track bases set up. Going back up to the front here, we're going to place down a skeleton skull to both sides of these nerve brick slabs. And then going to the back here, we're going to place down a birchwood fence gate, come off the middle slab. And we're going to go and then place down a birchwood trapdoor to both sides of it, just like that. With that out of the way, that is going to basically wrap up what we have here for layer 1. Here's what it looks like from up above. And with that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number 2. Alright guys, we have on to our next layer, we have layer number 2. For layer 2 to start off with, we're going to place down two narrow brick stairs on top of these two narrow brick top slabs like that. Followed by a sandstone upside down stair to both sides of these narrow brick stairs and a sandstone upside down stair in the middle there to go and create the front. We then want to place down an item frame on the two sandstone upside down core stairs with tripwire hooks in those item frames rotated around the face downwards like so. We then want to place down a birchwood sign coming off that sandstone stair there in the middle. After that's done, we're going to take our smooth sandstone, we're going to place down a row of seven all the way across, a birch button on the side here, followed by an item frame and a cobweb like that, and same thing over here as well, just like that. After that's all complete, we're going to then take our smooth sandstone, we're going to go and go to the sides here, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and ten blocks back, and over here we're going to do the same thing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten blocks back. We're then going to go ahead and go back up here to the front. We're going to place down one and two narrow brick top slabs and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight narrow brick slabs back. And we do also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some dark oak wood signs and on the last top slab here in the first half slab we're going to place down two dark oak wood signs like that for a bit of a smoother transition for the tracks. And over here we're going to do the same thing. Two narrow brick top slabs and then seven nerve brick slabs, or sorry, uh, eight nerve brick slabs back like that. And then our dark oak wood signs here on the sides of these two slabs like that. After that's done, uh, go ahead and go into the middle here. We can go and choose to fill the space in. If you do want to build an interior, you do have a bit of interior space for this tank, but again, I'll leave that up to you guys. Either way, we're going to go ahead and fill it in all the way to the space here, so it's all the way across here, row five of smooth sandstone, so just like that. After that's done, we're going to go to the sides here. We're going to place down two smooth sandstone stairs to both sides. We then want to take a stripped birchwood uh, block here. We're going to place one right here and one here to this side. On this sandstone stair over here to the left side, we're going to place down an item frame. In that item frame, we're going to place down a red stained glass block. And we also want to place down a birchwood sign on the uh, sandstone stair just like that. After that's done, we're going to then place down a stone button on these two stripped birchwood logs followed by an item frame on this smooth sandstone block, smooth sandstone block in the item frame and a birchwood sign uh, actually sorry about it, it's just going to be like this on the back here and once we have that all done I'm pretty sure that's if this there just double checking to make sure we're not missing anything and everything appears to be good to go so here's what layer 2 looks like from up above and that right there is going to wrap up that layer with that let's move on to our next layer layer number three. I guess moving on to our next layer with layer number three. For layer three to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and grab our uh, smooth sandstone blocks. We're going to place down one block here in the middle, just like so. We then want to go ahead and go to the left side with a smooth sandstone top slab. And then over here to the right side, we're going to place down a stripped birch with long on the side like so. Coming off that strip uh, spruce with long, we're going to place down a end rod. And then we're going to place down a smooth sandstone block here to both sides like so. Then uh, I'll cover off that smooth sandstone block, I'm going to place down a sandstone stair to both sides so you get a front that looks just like this. We're going to go ahead and take our birchwood trapdoors, we're going to place down one, two, one, two, and over here, one, two, one, two. And then the space in the middle here, one and two. Now behind this uh, sandstone top slab here, we're going to place down a black concrete block. And we want to go ahead and then place down a smooth sandstone block here to both sides. So. Actually, my bad. It's going to be a stripped birchwood log over here to the left side, then one and two smooth sandstone blocks, a stripped birchwood log, and then a sandstone stair to both sides, like so. Now, going back from this, we're going to go back from our sandstone stairs, one, two, and three, and over here, one, two, and three. 
and we can go ahead and then fill in the space here across the middle closing this area off again if you do want to do an interior you can go ahead and hollow that out for yourselves um, when you go back to add your interior uh, when we get to this point we're going to go ahead and take our smooth sandstone blocks we're going to place down a row of five across and we're going to go ahead and then place down a sandstone wall to both sides now from the sandstone wall we're going to go back one two three and four sandstone walls back so a total of five one two three four then uh, we're going to go ahead and focus on the inside here. So for this, we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down two smooth sandstone blocks in the middle here. Then one, two, loom blocks, one, two, and over here, same thing, one, two, one, two. After that, uh, we're going to then place down a birchwood plank to both sides like this. And we're going to then place down a smooth sandstone block here, and one right there in the middle. Our next section here, we're going to go and place down a loom to both sides like so and we're going to go ahead and place down a second loom after it then in the space in the middle here we're going to place down a birchwood plank like so going ahead and focus our attention to the back we're going to place down an stripped birchwood uh, log on top of the one from the previous layer and we're going to place down a birchwood sign coming off the two back sides like so we then want to go ahead and place down a strip or just a regular spruce slab here to the left side and around that we're going to go and grab spruce wood signs and you're going to place down one and two spruce wood signs wrapped around it after that uh, we're going to go place down a skeleton school coming off this birch wood plank and we're going to then place down a dark creek wood fence gate over here on the right side opened up toward the uh, toward the loom and also a wither skeleton school come off the side there of the fence gate like so and with that all complete there, that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer number three for the build. And uh, with that, we're going to move on to our next layer, layer number four. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we're moving on to layer number four. For layer four to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and place down a item frame on the spindle smooth sandstone block. And in that item frame, we're going to place down a smooth sandstone block like that. From this, we're going to place down a row of three of smooth sandstone blocks across, followed by an item frame on both sides of that row of three followed by a spruce and stone block in those item frames and a birchwood sign on each side of those blocks as well. After that's done, coming off the middle, spruce and stone block, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven spruce and stone slabs going back, and then two narrow brick top slabs. On the very end here, we're going to take our dark oak wood signs, we're going to place down one, two, and three dark oak wood signs wrapped around this slab here, an item frame. Uh, come off that slab and in that item frame we're going to place down a black concrete block just like that After that's done we're going to then go to this smooth sand stone block here on the left side We're going to place down an item frame and a black concrete block in the item frame To both sides of this sandstone slab here we're going to place down a skeleton skull And we want to go and then grab our wither skeleton skulls so We're going to place down a wither skeleton skull at a slight angle here on these sandstone stairs there to both sides for smoke grenade dispensers and then uh, we want to go ahead and grab a button and we're going to place down a stone button here on top of these smooth sand stone blocks here to both sides an item frame on top of those strip birch wood logs and in that item frame we're going to place down a smooth sand stone slab which we're going to rotate so that it's to the right side like so or toward the inside so just like that on both sides there after that we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of smooth sand stone blocks across followed by a sandstone wall to both sides we're going to go ahead and then take our smooth sandstone and place down two rows of five going across. So just like that. And then coming off of both ends, or on the right side here, the second row, we're going to place down a dark oak fence gate coming off it. We'll be here on the left side, we're going to place down two dark oak fence gates on those rows of five. We're going to go ahead and then place down a row of three the smooth sandstone full blocks, followed by a sandstone wall here in the corners. Around the sandstone walls, we're going to go ahead and wrap birchwood signs and uh, yeah on, so on both sides here we're going to wrap around birchwood signs over here on the right side we're going to place down an item frame come off this wall toward the back with a spruce sandstone block in the item frame and then over to the left side we're going to place down an item frame with a black concrete block in the item frame just like that after that's done we're going to go ahead and grab our wither skeleton skulls again we're going to place down one on top of this wall right here and one over here on this side as well. I'm going to place down a stone button here in the middle and then we're going to place down a stone or smooth sandstone slab right there like that. 
We're going to go to both sides of this side. We're going to place down Dark Oakwood Trapdoor, and then we're going to place down one more Trapdoor that goes back like that on both sides. From that, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a Birchwood button on top of these two Birchwood planks, item frames, and then in those item frames, we're going to place down a smooth sandstone block, like so. And we're going to go do the same thing for this section here. So a Birchwood button face in that direction, item frame, and a smooth sandstone block in that item frame. We're then going to place down a Wither Skeleton School at a slight angle here on these two sandstone walls here for the back. And we're also going to place down Wither Skeleton Schools on top of these two Birchwood, uh, strip Birchwood logs, just like that. We're going to go then place down a Daylight Detector on top of this fence gate here, and also on top of this slab, just like that, going out to the sides. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a Birchwood fence post and we're actually going to replace this uh, Wither Skeleton School here with a Birchwood fence post instead. And also we're going to take our Sandstone Top Slabs and place down a row of three of Sandstone Top Slabs coming off that row of three of um, full Blocks. And with that all done there, that is going to wrap up what we have there for layer number four for the build. With that, uh, we're going to move into our final layers here, layers five, six, seven, eight. We're going to put the whole, basically the whole top of the turret on and um, finish this build off. So with that, let's move into our final layers. I guess moving into our last final layers, we have layers 5 through 8. For these layers to go ahead and get started with, we're going to place down a dark liquid trapdoor on top of this narrow brick top sub here in the front. Going back from that, we're going to go ahead and go to this row 3 of smooth sandstone full We're going to place down a row 3 of sandstone slabs on top of it. And then we're going to go ahead and go with two birchwood trapdoors going toward the front and two birchwood pressure plates like so. Also, one thing I forgot to add was on the sides here of this first slab here, we're going to place down a um, birchwood sign there on the sides of that slab, just like that. After that, we're going to then take our sandstone stairs, we're going to place down a row of three across, and we're going to then place down a narrow brick slab on top of those two sandstone walls, followed by a wither skeleton school coming off those narrow brick slabs, and then a dark oakwood sign on the size of these two slabs just like that. Once that's done we're going to place down a narrow row of three of smooth sandstone blocks across followed by a sandstone wall to both sides and then we're going to do a row of five or sorry rather a sandstone block here and then we're going to place down a strip birch with log followed by one two and three sandstone blocks over. We're going to do a narrow row of three of smooth sandstone here sandstone wall to both sides and then we get to this section here, sandstone wall in the center, smooth sandstone block here to both sides, just like that. With uh, that all complete there, um, we're going to go ahead and now move up onto the top of the turret. So for the top up here, we're going to go ahead and place down a birchwood slab on this location here. Grabbing skeleton schools, we're going to go ahead and wrap the skeleton schools around this slab, so on the blocks all the way around it, to kind of enlarge in the cupola. And we're going to go ahead and also place down a skeleton skull with the face facing forward on top of this sandstone block here. Grabbing birchwood buttons, we're going to place down a birchwood button right here. And then two on the back here like so. We also want to place down a item frame right here. A smooth sandstone block in the item frame and a birchwood button there in the item frame just like that. And then going ahead and go into our radio antenna here. We're going to place down one, two, three, and four iron bars up for our antenna. The last thing we need to do is to go ahead and add the extra spare tracks that are mounted on the side of the tank. This is something that's optional and if you are choosing not to include this, no worries. Uh, just make sure you get rid of these fence gates as those are part of basically these track links here on the side. To make these track links, it's super simple. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and grab a loom, a black banner, and some gray dye and it's super simple. All we're going to do is go ahead and go into our loom, place our black banner and our gray dye, and we're going to just select the brick pattern and your banner is good to go. On the left side we're going to place down two of these banners and over here on the right side we're just going to place down one. And those are again meant to signify the spare track links that are often added to the side of these turrets. Anyways, that right there is going to complete my redesign here for the Tiger Offs E. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this build and are able to put good use. If you do want to use this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This can be linked from the sound of the build, to my channel, or this video, if this does bring you social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free to use for a project you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. And other than that, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. This has been your 2 and I'll see you guys next time.